Hi guys, I'm so excited about some of our new outer thigh workouts that are coming up. So I wanna walk you through um, and give you a couple of my tips on these exercises and movements because we're gonna be working a little bit of a different range of motion so you can get the most out of your Valley Beautiful workout. So in this series of exercises, we're gonna do a really great set of outer thigh movements that are targeting this outside. When I say outer thigh, what do I even mean? I'm talking about, it's, it's sort of a made up word, I suppose, um, but I'm talking about literally the outside part of your hip, your butt, and your thigh. So I'm generally, when I'm targeting the outer thigh, the best way to get it that I found is to work in a very turned in parallel position. So the hips are facing forward. In ballet, this is, this is not, not a foundational movement in ballet whatsoever. The hips are generally open. So typically you're engaging your inner thighs when you're dancing. Everything is coming from this open movement. But to get the really, what I think is like your ideal, toned, strong, and really lean, muscly leg, we have got to work in parallel and target and tone that side part of the butt and the hip and the thigh. So in this particular series, of exercises that's coming your way. I want, I'm gonna do them um, in this lifted position. So I'm down on my side, but I'm also up on my elbow. And there's a couple of reasons why. One, it makes it more challenging. It makes it more of a full body exercise. And I love these, especially since having kids, I'm always thinking, how can I strengthen my core? Um, for me, I feel like I'm forever working on building that strength and getting that that real tone and control over my center and my abs and my waist. So when you're lifted and doing a series of outer thigh exercises here, you're engaging your core versus when you're down on your side, which I also do and love, you're just really keeping the focus on the thighs. So for this upcoming series, if you have a problem with your neck or your back or you feel or a shoulder injury, um, if being up on your elbow puts too much tension on the upper body, forget about it, just relax, go down to the mat and focus on the butt and the thighs and the legs. So one of the things to keep in mind with this movement is that this is an active movement. Even here, before I've started the exercise, my core is engaged, I'm lifting up, I'm not slouching down and sort of resting on my frame um, and then lifting my legs from here. I want you really pulling up and in and out of that shoulder. And remember, if at any point you feel like your neck is tired or it's too much work through your core, or maybe you just had a baby, this is not the exercise I would begin with um, when I'm starting back to Valley Beautiful after having had a baby or if I had an injury, for example. It's a little bit easier to come down. So if you need that break, don't hesitate to do the exercises, but to do them in that reclined, more restful position. But if you're up for the challenge, keep these pointers in mind, pull up, pull in, and out of that shoulder. And I can't wait to join you for a great Valley Beautiful workout.